what I wanted to show you is a few things today. One is working on a penguin in an igloo. So this is unpainted. You can kind of see the penguin in an igloo. I have some lines on the igloo. I have a little penguin that I've made. I have a fire piece right here, and I wanted to kind of show you what the colors look like as something is painted. So if it is painted with a thick coat of paint, it's going to be a bolder color. If it's a thin coat of paint, you're going to see through it a little more. The natural color is kind of a cream when it's finished, or off-white. So when you make your penguin an igloo, this would be the original color. When it has a clear glaze, it kind of turns to an ivory color or kind of an off-white color when it's finished, just to let you know. I'm going to take a tennis ball. I can smash the clay down, stretch it out just a little bit. And then, again, if I want to trim in the edges, I can always trim the edges with a knife. I make a ball of clay, pack it like a snowball, just like this. And then I can do my pinch pot. So my thumb goes into the clay, almost to the bottom. I gently pinch the clay around in a circle, continue to move it around, open it up, walk my thumbs around, use some slip with my finger to attach it, stick it maybe off to the side, squish it down. Now I have a big area right here that I can have for the opening. I'm going to take my thumb, dig in, and I'm going to open it up. I want to make sure it's really stuck down there, so I want to blend if I can. Now I can use a toothpick. You can use any kind of a tool. You can use a pen. You can use a knife, a butter knife. So I have lines I can create for the blocks of the igloo. Now to make the penguin, I just simply take a little coil that maybe I've rolled out with my finger, dip it into the slip. Slip is the wet clay. Stick it down. Doesn't look like much. Blend it in. And then I can roll some little flippers or what looks like the wings of the penguin. Dip them in the slip. Stick them on. Now I have those attached right here. Now I can use a little ball of clay, roll it in my finger, dip it in the slip, stick it on top. I can always make little dots for the feet. There's lots of slip already down there, so or feed um, the web feet here. I've added that. Now I need to make the facial features. I can make the mouth. Dip it in the slip, add it on. Now little pieces like this can be really delicate. You can use a toothpick to blend it a little bit if you like. This gives kind of a side view. So there's my penguin. Now I can do lots of little details. I can take a toothpick, I can take something, and I can actually make it look like there is footprints in the snow by making little dots make a doorway, you can make some snowballs. Everything needs to be attached with slip. You can paint it. Remember, if it's a thin coat of paint, you're going to see through it. If it's a thick coat, you'll be able to see the bold color of the clay, or the glaze, and the natural is white. It turns cream when it's fired. That's all for now. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy your building.